Leo, Leo, Leo. Mm-hmm. Up the energy. Oh, communication. Ooh. How about a partnership on the mend? Or on the, well, not on the mend. It's, it's over, right? <laughs> this four wands, that ain't no party, man. That's a catastrophe right there. You go hear some words about it. Someone's going to communicate. Or you want to communicate to somebody. Hey, this shit's like over. This is crazy. This is nuts. This ain't happening. Yeah, a page of cups. Someone wants to come in and make an offer of love, but they just haven't said anything yet, okay? Your energy or someone coming towards you, take it how it resonates, Leo. Take it how it resonates. Come on, Spirit, what do you have for Leo? December 2020 in my collective. What do you have for Leo? December 2020 in my collective. I'm going to say a new start in love, guys. You're going to hear about a relationship that isn't so good. And someone's wanting to give you that cup of love. Wake this deck up, spirit, please. I ask that the powers be watch over me during this reading. You know how I see and read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. Thank you, please, spirit. Someone's wanting to come out of the cold. Because you know what? They've released their toxic. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Someone definitely wants to come out of the cold because they're releasing this toxic energy they had. These toxic ties they have had. They're releasing that energy. Might have been a player in the past. Could have been dealing with the player at the Page of Wands here. And someone's seriously having a head over heart decision. They, they don't know which way to go. I think this is that, that love offer someone's wanting to come in with. This communication. Someone's wanting to talk. Uh, I think they're wanting to let go of their ways. You know how this resonates. Which side of this uh, story you're on? Never mind, kitty. I just fed him. I don't know what his deal is. Yeah, three of cups in the past. Knight of swords in the present energy. And the nine of pentacles. Someone's going to get single. Might have been dealing with a lot of third-party shit in the past. A lot of partying, a lot of playing. Told you with that Knight of Wands energy. Now, we got the Knight of Swords here, so someone's been blocked. They can't come in and communicate. And that's staying on that uh, horse there. This is the Golden Girls Tarot deck. So this is an ex. This is an ex wanting to come back. Ooh, Seven of Swords, though. They may try to sneak back. Yeah, because they got... Ooh, okay. Yeah. Someone's definitely letting go of their freaking uh, player ways. Their options, all this partying and playing. They're kind of done with that energy. One more on that. Yeah, because you know what? Uh, they made the wrong choice with them options. They know which cup they should have chose, and they didn't fucking choose that cup. So now they're like, well, fuck, right? I fucked that up. Pardon my language, guys. Mm. This Knight of Swords, though, it, uh, it, it's blocked communication. They're not coming in to talk, right? There's a little bit of deception in this. It's like someone's got to uh, sneak away from a situation, sneak away from a person. There's got, there's going to be some sneakiness around this, right? Because we got the Queen of Swords and the Hermit in reverse. Let's pull one more. Four Swords. Yeah, someone is uh, definitely dealing with a bitch, right? And that's probably who they're sneaking away from. But they want to communicate. And, and they are in the process of healing. It's not, I think they want to try to heal a situation. Spirit, give me one more card. Yeah, they want wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups here. They really want to come in and, and work on a situation and heal it. But they are dealing with... Someone is watching them. They're dealing with a real bitch with this Queen of Swords in reverse. But boy, they want to come in and communicate. So they might be sneaking away from this energy to try to communicate to you. Or they're figuring out how they can get away from this energy. Just in general. You know what I mean? Because over here, future card, someone's going to get single. Someone's going to get single. Because you know what? I really think... They're pissing away 
all this this negative shit in their past. You know, the high priestess in reverse, the star and the sun. Uh, someone's going after their wish fulfillment. And I think these are truly the factors that, that kept them from moving forward, right? They weren't, they never trusted their intuition. They really didn't realize with the star and the moon here, or the star and the sun, excuse me, they really didn't realize where their happiness was. They didn't want to heal themselves. And they really didn't put forth any effort for happiness because they knew what their intuition was telling them. They knew where they were being guided. You know, the stars guide as well. But it's like now they've seen, they've started trusting that intuition. They're being guided by the star because they're tired of being sad. Tired of being sad. They want to build a happy, fun, committed relationship with somebody. Once they get single. Single and kind of independent and on their own. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're tired of past regrets. They really... This is definitely someone that didn't choose you at the beginning, okay? Or take it however this resonates in your story. This could be your energy or their energy. But someone's really wanting to get out of that. Because they see now the error of their ways. They want to build... They want to build a strong foundation with you. Or you them. However it resonates. I like this, Leo. I like this a lot. Good luck with that. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light.